this is a this is a video review of Terminator Salvation the movie action figure now here what I'm showing you is the T1 now for many of you who watch Terminator or are fanatics of Terminator this figure right here first appeared in Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines which came out in summer of 2003 and as many of you know this is supposed to be one of the very very first Terminators to ever been created and this figure doesn't come with much all it comes with is a card and you can shoot the cannons you can shoot the cannons up here and if you can see the paint around here is like like rusty or mud or something You know, I would have expected to come with like more accessories and, and stuff, but not really. My hair's got a little button right here, and you can shoot. Let's see, and you can move the arms a little bit, left, right. Now, when I said earlier that this figure comes with the card, this is the card right here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's a picture of the T1. And it has like a mini biography in the back. It says, T1 origin point for Armageddon. The T1 was the very first robotic killing machine designed by Skynet when humans were still in charge of their planet. Cooperatively prim primitive, but as deadly as single-minded as any Terminator that came after after it. This was the machine that killed Kate Connor's father the day the bombs fell and the world changed hands. Indeed, without the T1, there would be no Terminators at all. Which is true, because they are the T1, which is the first Terminator to ever exist. And with the package, it comes right here. The different type of figures that come separately that you could buy, which is the T600, Marcus, the T700, the TRIP, which is AKA Resistance Infiltrator Prototype. And on top here, it talks about the movie Terminator Salvation, which says, set in post apocalyptic 2018, John Connor is the man fated to be the leader of the human resistance against Skynet and its army of Terminators. The future he was raised to believe in is altered by the appearance of Marcus. Connor must now decide whether Marcus has been sent from the future or rescued from the past. So that's what it says in the yellow words right there. And here I got is a picture of the T1, which I just bought. So yes, yeah, it's, it's not special about the figure. I mean, for people who are like big fanatics of Terminator and are like dying to like buy a Terminator figures, I'd recommend this figure because like it's not the best, and it's not the best figure best details looking but it'll be nice like if you want to put it like in your little table drawer or on a bookshelf or next to the TV or something for you know it's nice for display you know yeah so this is Amco Predator signing off